So hello there, this is Ivar by Ivar's Fly Workshop. Today we are tying a salmon pattern by Mackenzie. I think it's David Mackenzie, who originally designed the fly. It's the Black Brahan fly. It's a relatively simple fly to tie, but really effective when it comes to when it comes to salmon fishing. So we will start by attaching the thread to this double hook, sh double hook, uh, which we are using. We are using a Arx, an Arx hook number ten for this fly, and we start by making the butt of the fly by wrapping an oval tinsel around and finishing the oval tinsel with by. Uh, getting it behind like that and under the body or the under the shank of the hook and attach it there it's easier to do it like that rather than to do this on the top it's possible to do it on the top as well but um, then the tail it might be in the way of the tail so I prefer to do it just below then it's not in way or of, of anything and the next step of the fly is that the we use the <coughs> we use black squirrel for the tail. And the tail is um, you can use actually the black rooster or even a hat feather of golden pheasant. That's one version of the fly, but we are sticking to the um, to the book, so we will use a black squirrel for the tail. Make sure the tail doesn't get too long or or anything like that. So there you have the tail. For the body of the fly, I'm using a red tinsel. It's actually red hollow hollow tinsel, which it shines a little different. It looks cool. I mean, I mean, I like it. And remember, when we are tying the Brahan flies, a black Brahan has the red body. A green Brahan is exactly the same flight, just with a green tinsel. So I'm not going to tie a green Brahan for you guys. You'll just know that you'll just have to swap out the swap out the red tinsel for the green. Then we tie in the um, red holographic tinsel and get the thread in front. Bend the tinsel, get it like under again, so it's not going to slide or go anywhere. And then we get the thread to the front of the hook, close to the hook eye, and then we'll start to wrap the tinsel. Here we go. And... Uh, we must make sure that there is a place for the um, a place for the both hat, the wing, and the and the hackle or the beard, which is coming onto the fly. The uh, beard of the fly is a black rooster, which we have right here, and you take like few fibers, 10, 15 fibers or so, and and cut it off it's nice to have a rotary vise there to attach it it's easier definitely and with that i'm building up like a small platform for the uh, beard because otherwise it's gonna be unnatural sticking out in different directions but but i like to attach it like this just two wraps then you then you can adjust the uh, adjust it like make the fibers shorter if you like and some stuff before you go and really tie in like uh, get like firmer <coughs> like firm wraps on it so it's gonna be staying in place then we snip off the tag end and uh, keep on preparing the head of the fly 
for the wing but the wing is uh, made out of black squirrel and the black squirrel is yeah popular <clears throat> popular popular material for lots of salmon flies you have to measure out the the uh, preferred length of the uh, wing and it should uh, be about the our, our nearly about the same length of the uh, of the tail uh, notice that i put like a little drop of drop of warnings on the uh, squirrel there for the wing it sits better that way and you can control it easier so if you have to unwrap something the fur is not going to spill all over they're just going to stay in one place it's a really really handy trick which i learned from my mentor Jon Sigurdsson so the fly is almost ready now we just have to give it a couple of whip finishing a couple of whip finish and then it will be just good to go and this is a yeah pretty strong fly and uh, some people ask me why i'm not putting varnish on the thread while i'm just tying and the reason is simple i don't want to get don't want to get any <laughs> warnish into the cof bobbins i have i had to learn it the hard way i'm not kidding destroying a bobbin that costs yeah close to i don't know 50 60 bucks even more it's more expensive than that here in iceland so no worn is close to my bobbins never um yeah we just gave the fly a little coat of warnish and there it is the black rahan great salmon fly great option so i thank you for watching and just say like share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video stay tuned